Hello everyone. Today's question is from Anne-Marie in Toronto. How do I measure opportunity win rates, in other words, conversion rates, in Salesforce? Well, the win rate is an essential metric when it comes to analysing salesperson performance and identifying coaching and development needs. So let's talk about how to measure opportunity win rates in Salesforce and look at a couple of examples on how you can interpret this essential metric at the salesperson level. And also, by the way, I will explain how you can very quickly get your hands on a win rate report for free. I'll explain that at the end. So first of all, how do you measure opportunity win rates? Well, you want to do it in two ways. The first is by count. In other words, the conversion rate by the number of opportunities. That's in the lighter blue here. And the second way is to measure the opportunity conversion rate by value. That's in the darker blue on this chart. Here's how those two related measures work. Let's say you win three deals in a month and you lose seven. That means your win rate by count is 30%. However, if the value of your won deals is $40,000 and the value of your lost deals is $60,000, then your win rate by value is 40%. Now, both of those two measures are important when it comes to analysing salesperson performance. If we take Sean here as an example, we can see this year he's won 27% of his opportunities. The second column in the darker blue is his win rate by dollar value, and he's won 17% of his opportunities by value. Now, what does that mean? It means Sean is closing a greater proportion of his lower value deals. Now, you might already be starting to think of some coaching interventions that we can make with Sean, but it is important to remember that like any other dashboard chart or report, the conversion rate doesn't tell us the answer. Rather, it tells us what questions to ask. For example, we don't know if Sean's win rate by number is higher than his win rate by value because he's not confident handling larger deals. We don't know if he's prioritising in the wrong area or if he's giving away too much discount. Perhaps, perhaps he's not selling supplementary products or add-on products and, and services. So we would want to combine this with other dashboard charts, his average deal size, for example, to identify the specific coaching and guidance that we would want to give to Sean. But you get the idea, having specific win rate information can tell you a lot about salesperson performance. Let's quickly have a look at Sarah. Her conversion rate is much lower than other salespeople. In coaching Sarah, we want to find out perhaps she's not qualifying opportunities properly. Is that the other end of the sales process, we need to help her with her closing skills. Perhaps she's lost her confidence in this current environment, working from home, maybe she has isolation issues. We, we don't know the answers from the chart, but the numbers guide us in the questions that we need to ask as managers. So, Anne-Marie, two other resources that I think you will find useful on this topic. First of all, I did say I would show you how to get a win rate report so that you don't have to build it yourself. All you need to do is install the free GSP dashboard. That dashboard includes the win rate report plus a lot of other charts and reports that give you high quality visibility of sales performance. And second, I've written a blog post specifically about measuring opportunity 
win rates. It gives more hints and tips on this, this essential metric. There's a link to both of these resources just below the video. Now, over to everyone else, leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think about this topic. And if you have a question that you'd like me to cover, again, put it into the comment section just below. And of course, do not forget to follow us on YouTube. That's it for today. Keep safe. See you on tomorrow's video.